everyone, Elna Bell again, I'm Rachel. Go hit that subscribe bell, go hit that notification bell because we are doing the beginner basics series. This video is going to be on the tools that I recommend you have to start your crochet journey. Few simple things to remember is you don't have to have the best of the best to start with. It's all a learning curve. I do recommend that you have a crochet hook in at least a size four and five, potentially even a three, depending on what weight yarn you're working with. But a four and a five should get you off to a good start. Uh, I'll show you those and some different styles that you can start with when we move around to the other view. The other thing that I recommend with starting out crochet, I would start with a worsted weight yarn, which is in Australia about an eight to 10 ply. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's easy to see your stitches. And if you shop at Spots Spotlight, you can get the USA Spot Saver for $8 for a 200 gram bowl. Uh, it's got about 312 meters or about 325 yards in it. Um, it's not a bad quality acrylic, but it's a great little one to start out with. It's what I, one of the ones I started out with. I am going to turn my camera around and I will see you on the flip side. Okay, first thing you guys are going to need to get your journey underway is your yarn. Now this is the spot saver that I was talking about earlier. It is a 10 ply or a worsted weight yarn or a four weight. This one's in a really beautiful colour. My camera's not being very true to the colour but it's more green in the light that I'm looking at it in. Uh, it's a nice soft acrylic yarn. It's not the softest I've felt, but it works up really nicely and is easy to work with. Okay, so onto hooks. Uh, there are a few different styles that you can get, as you can see here. There's four different ones that I've got here. Um, all varying quality, all good and bad in their own different way. The one I started out with was this one. Um, obviously this is in a six millimeter, but this is just your run of the mill standard aluminium hook or metal hook. Um, great little flat spot here for holding it. I hold it in a pencil grip, but you can also hold it as like a knife grip. Um, these are great for starting out. Downside to them is that they are a bit slippery because they're all metal um, and also skinny. So if you've got things like arthritis or issues with your hand, they can get a little bit uncomfortable after a while. Uh, the other styles all have a grip. On the handle as you can see this pink one is one I have borrowed out of my daughter's collection it's a cheap ergonomic hook um, nice squishy soft handle um, and these are great also if you're starting out if you've got things like arthritis in your hands or you find that your hands are cramping these two here this one the brown one is a clover and the grey and gold one is a tulip. These are two really common brands in people that have been crocheting for a while. I will do a review on those and all, all of these style hooks um, in another video. But finding yourself a hook that you like is an important one. But this one you can start out with. Quite a good cheap little hook i got a set of these off my friend when i started crocheting i think she paid four dollars on wish for a full set of about 20 hooks 
from a tiny little one that was like 0.5 of a mil up to a six and a half mil and they come in a little case really really important though to have a hook for obvious reasons you're not going to be able to crochet without a hook So just a couple of other little things that are worth having when you're starting your journey. Your first one is a pair of scissors. Now these ones I got from work. Um, I'm a registered nurse and these are our basic scissors that we have available to us. Um, I use these simply for cutting a dressing and then thought, beauty they'll work really well for my crochet and my crafts so I pop them in my pocket um, they're really good short little blade um, but nice and sharp for cutting your yarn they'll make your life 100% easier you can also use uh, nail clippers if you are going on flights that sort of thing a decent tape measure and not like a hardware one that you'd find in a hardware store but a proper fabric tape measure if you can find one that's got centimeters and inches that'll make your life really easy as well um, I think I picked this one up for a couple of dollars at Spotlight these are really good for when you're doing your gauge swatching and will help you along the way making sure that you are creating your garments and blankets and everything that you may endeavour to make along the way to the right size. The very last thing that I suggest that everybody gets their hands on are stitch markers. Especially good for when you're working in the round which I'll go into in my next series, which is the Intermediate Skills series. A couple of different types that you can get. These little ones here, as you can see, they simply unclip like that and you can pop them through your yarn. Kind of like a safety pin. And then there's also these little bulb pins that you can get. They're called a bulb pin for an obvious reason. They look like a light bulb. Really, really cute. I bought a set of these off of eBay. I think I got 300 for about $5. Um, again, like a little safety pin. They just press open and shut. So they are the tools that I recommend you get for your journey. And I hope you have had a good day. My day has not gone to plan the way I wanted it to, but we've got there in the end. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.